Market wrap for Tuesday, January 24th, 2017. Uh, pretty good day. Pretty good day, I must say. I was quite surprised. Pretty uh, stagnant up until, I would say, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Then we had a rally, a big time. And we were just within about 60 points of Dow 20,000 and didn't make it yet again. What a disappointment. But it'll be. It'll be. Obviously, if you guys have been watching the news and seeing what's going on with uh, our president, um, there's been a lot of executive orders, restarting the pipelines. Everything just feels better, economically speaking anyway. It just feels better. It gives a hope of um, optimism for everybody. And... I think that's important, and I think that's why you saw this rally, uh, where the market's been going sideways. It certainly broke out from that range. Um, looks very, very good. S and P hit a new high, hit a new intraday high, and however, it didn't close at a new high. The Nasdaq, however, did. So let's get into it and see where we're ending up. Now, mind you, some of these numbers might be slightly off because we're still settling, but I just wanted to get this out to you as quickly as possible. So let's get into it. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up 113 points even to 19,912.85, or up 0.57%. Here we go. The Nasdaq Composite closed at 5,600.96, up 4,801 points to a new record, or up 0.86%. The Bard-based S&P 500 is a couple points shy of its intraday record, slightly below a closing record of... 2280.07 up 14.87 or up 0.66 percent the small cap russell 2000 was the winner of the day up 22.76 points to 1370.59 or up 1.69 percent moving on to other indices today the nasdaq 100 also a new record 5101.06 up 35.36, up 0.70%. The S&P mid-cap 400 index closed up 26.92 points to 1698.76, or up 1.61%. So you can see the smaller stocks are obviously rallying higher. Um, let's look at the small cap 600 index up 13.69 points to 838.79 or up 1.66 percent the nyc composite index closed up 85.72 points to 11,256.34 or up 0.77 percent the xau the gold and silver index closed up 91.58 points i'm sorry closed up 0.34 points to 91.60 or up 0.37%. The SOX index, the semiconductors, closed up 18.47 points to 942.24 or up 2.04%. And last but not least in the indices section, the VIX, the volatility index, closed down 0 0.60 of a point to 11.17 or down 5.10%. Well, it's interesting here, even though the VIX is dropping, you're seeing sentiment in the option market shifting towards more bearish feelings. So I would expect to see something begin to transpire. I don't know when or by how much, but you're beginning to see a slight, slight shift into the bearish category. So let's keep an eye on that one. Going into the currencies and commodities section versus the dollar. Let's start them off in the currencies, the euro. 1.0732 down 0 0.0035 Japanese yen 113.79 up 1.09 and my favorite currency the English pound 1.2501 down 0 0.0035 and the Australian dollar 0.7583 up actually unchanged it just ticked uh, the Swiss franc, 1.0011, up 0 0.0044. In the commodity section, West Texas Intermediate Crude, 53.06, up 0.31, or up 0.59%. 
Brent North Sea crude 55.31, up 0 0.08 points, or up 0.14 percent. Gold 1211.90, down 6.6, .6, or down 0.54 percent. Silver 17.120, down 0 0.066, or down 0.38 percent. And the Dow Jones futures and the equities up 111 points to 19,000, uh, 112, to 19,847, up 0.57 percent. S&P future 2276 even, up 14 points even, or up 0.62 percent. And last but not least, the 10-year bond down 15 30 seconds of a point, yield to maturity up to 2.457 percent. So you can see there, there was an obvious shift from bonds in the stocks today. Um, it's a pretty big move, about half a point in the bond. So, you know, you're seeing some asset shifting, allocation shifting, but this goes on every day. You can't really state that as a trend. The trend has been sideways. We broke that sideways trend line in the Dow, and now let's see what happens. Off to the races. I got a feeling... Nine, uh, 19,800 and change will be uh, resistance. No, I'm sorry, support, uh, since we broke through that handily today. So let's see what happens as the, day, you know, as the days go on. 20,000 is within reach. I hope it does it so we can get over you know, this uh, round number enthusiasm and move on to focusing on fundamentals because this market's been absolutely nuts. <laughs> Anyway, I want to conclude and say, uh, please don't give up on your dreams. Always fight the good fight. Uh, persevere, whatever obstacles life throws you in your way. Always keep positive. Always keep strong. And I also want to say that if you found this video useful, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it out. Also, feel free to add comments. Um, I want to learn from you as much as you want to learn from me. Thank you very much. Have a good evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.